and yarn. You know, because uh, Megan had left me that, and I went, oh, and I went out one time with it. I took it out and used it. And, the yarn? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Thanks for uh, joining us today and watching the video. So, a while back, I had a uh, buddy, Joe Mobley, uh, issue a challenge to me, and we never fulfilled it, never went through with it, and uh, it's been a couple of years now, and my buddy Clint and I here were talking about the challenge and thought it'd be fun to do it. So, we're out here today uh, at his place, and we're gonna do, it's, it's kind of like a box challenge, like a subscriber box challenge, but instead of us having to mail it to each other, we just decided to meet up and exchange it. So basically, uh, we're doing a overnight, and that overnight is gonna consist of five items that he picked for me, and five items that I picked for him. Hey, that's a good spot though. Look, the challenge is gonna be, uh, an overnight where we've picked five items for each other. I picked five items for him and he picked five items for me. And we're gonna be putting it in a pack. And besides those five items, the only, only other thing that we're gonna allow ourselves to bring is the clothing that we have on and uh, a quart mason jar of food and uh, our camera equipment stuff. So batteries, charger, uh, whatever you might need for us to do it. Um, and we've got, what do we say, a month? Yeah, yeah, before Christmas at some point. It, today is uh, November 17th. So, probably by the videos, probably be out by Christmas. Should be Christmas time. Now, we based, I think we based them. We haven't really talked because uh, we're trying to keep it kind of a secret. But mine are based on the first five C's, pretty much. Mine too. Um, so, um, kind of think I might be a little harder on him than he's going to be on me, but we will see here in just a minute. So y'all hang on, we'll get it set back up. Oh God, it's inside your pack. <laughs> it's not even that. All right, so originally we were going to hold off on uh, on even going through the pack or seeing what we brought uh, or gave to each other just for the kind of element of surprise for once we got out there, now you've got to figure it out. But we also know It'd probably be more entertaining and uh, at least better for, for y'all to go ahead and see what we're taking. And that also holds us accountable because now we can't sneak something in that wasn't necessarily in the pack. Because I'm not going to be where he is and he's not going to be where I am when we're doing this. So he's going to have no idea whether I've snuck something in or not. So this way we're putting it out there in the open, uh, up front, what we're giving each other. So uh, yeah, I don't... I don't know what he has, but this is the pack that uh, I'm going to be giving him. And like I said, I'd, I left a little bit of room in here for him to put some camera gear or battery or whatever. But I can say he was a lot more generous on his pack than I was. Oh, I, Lord. I went with the Millennial Sack Pack. Oh, no. <laughs> now, it is a fancy one. It does have a front pocket. So we are we're good to go on that one. So uh, here is yours. Man, yours is so nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead and go to. All right. So right off the bat, at least he gave me a, a knife, not a piece of chert, because he did give me a cutting tool. All right, stainless. And I don't know where I got that knife from. I have no clue where that knife came from. And it is full tang, so <laughs> that's good. It's a, uh, no idea, Maxim Japan, <laughs> uh, Maxim Steel Special 420 Stainless. I'll be doing a full review on my channel of this <laughs> knife. It's my new go-to <laughs> knife. Uh, the spine is rounded, so <laughs> sheath is high quality. It's right-handed, perfect for me. <laughs> So excited about this one. I'm excited about this one. Oh my god, here's a uh, matches with no striker. Strike anywhere matches. I checked them today to make sure they would strike. I'm gonna have to find a rock for that. Looks like I'm gonna be making a bow drill. Or a zipper. I did strike them on a zipper. Oh my lord. 
This is all the coordinates you gave me too, I'm betting. Uh, it's yarn. It's yarn. It's camo yarn. That's it in the front pocket. So there's three out of the five. That's a uh, cordage, fire start, or a combustion and cutting tool. So obviously the most valuable thing so far is the knife. All right, let's see here. Oh, he gave me a water bottle. A big one too. Man, his kit, <laughs> his kit's gonna be so nice. Hey, we were talking it, about challenges and I thought I'd make it a little challenging for him. So obviously we need to decide whether we're gonna be bringing water in with us or yeah. we have to collect it while we're out there. Well, you know, I'll probably be doing mine out here on the land and we probably don't want, I'm probably not gonna be drinking from these ponds. I'll probably, what I'll do is I'll just catch some water somewhere behind a tree or something and use that water, but it'll only be a bottle of water just because cows are pissing and everything else in these ponds that we have. And I'm just, even boiling it, I'm not gonna drink that. And for me, it'll be up to uh, whether or not the creek that I'm, I'm gonna be going by is gonna be full and then sometimes if there is water in it it's just so stagnant it's kind of like that but uh i'm, I'm gonna do my best to, to blow yeah, now, it now if it does rain like before we go yeah because there's always places that fill up so it just depends on what the weather's doing at that that particular moment all right so and then so see you'll see whenever he opens his right now i'm already thinking about my food because i only have one container and i can't cook anything in this because the spout's too small, there's no cup or nothing, so I'm gonna have to bring food in that quart jar that will uh, be appropriate for what I have. So I'm guessing this is, oh, he's, he's nice enough to give me a leopard print blanket. And, okay, so this is cool. Okay, so see, this is good. I can, I can roll with this. You've see, got, I'm not, I'm not is, total hard ass. This is good, this is good. This will be fine. He even threw in a, uh, drum liner maybe two or is it one it's, it's one. one so see here's my uh, here's my mattress there's my tarp I've got a blanket and then my clothing so I'm at least hopefully gonna be able to sleep uh, may not have a fire <laughs> we'll see I don't like matches but uh, we'll have to figure this out so okay. and I knew that he would complain about the matches because I've known him a long time so <laughs> When it comes to, if he can't catch the fire, I have got him a emergency fire kit. What? What is this? Who could be up with? So, Let me put all my stuff in here, because if I lose any of it, <laughs> this is all very important to me right now. Man, how did you cram all this in here? Man, it, emergency fire kits. Good luck. Love, Texas Nomad. I'm, I'm even, I'm just gonna leave this. I'm not even gonna go through this yet. I'm gonna wait and open this when I yeah, get out Yeah, don't there. open, that's only in case of an emergency. Okay, man, watch how amazing <laughs> this kit is. Like, this is a great starter kit for anybody. Uh, I, I, I'm kind of excited, because this may just be a smoothing it little overnight. Oh, yeah, yeah. Looky here, yeah. This is what you get for being a nice guy. <laughs> this is what you get for being a nice guy. Oh, got a clean canteen and a cup. Uh, that, that's, man, that right there in itself. I could do that. He can cook hot meals now. Look. All right, what do we got here? Oh. Damn. A paracord wrapped buck knife, spine, and everything. Mm -hmm. Big ass handle. There's cordage. Feel the spine though. You're right handed, I did. right? I did. Yeah. Feel it when it feel it if you're holding it left handed. Oh wow. <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't work that great right handed. Yeah. Left handed yeah. it's fine. <laughs> Alright. Now well, let's see what else we got. And the pack itself. I mean heck I could camp out of this pack. <laughs> It's not what you think oh, it is, though. No. It's, this is not the leaking nope. Bushcraft USA tarp. I, I was going to do that, but then I was like, <laughs> it'd be his luck that it pours down rain. 
So that's going to be something I think you're going to end up buying when you get through with this. What is this the AquaQuest? No, it's a Basha, British Army Basha Oh, oh I have one of these. Oh, yeah? I have one of these. With, these the, are with the grab handles and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. That's a big one, too. Look at this. Man, Look I, at I this can just... amazing kit. Yeah. <laughs> I told y'all I think he was going to be not and a drum liner. Or a couple of drum liners. Two. Yeah, two. Two drum liners. That's it. That's one. That's one, two, three. All right. I must have something up here. Oh, a little uh, Exotech. You ever used one of those? No. Oh, yeah, like this, right? Have fun. Oh, yeah. There we go. It's a pain in the butt, man. <laughs> so we got this. We will work on a fire out there. And <laughs> oh, I thought that was yard. So we got some hemp or jute twine. Man, I gave you a lot too. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, you got 30 feet. You should be able to do plenty with 30 okay. feet. Okay. All right. Since it's yarn, I just didn't. Yeah. Be careful, don't tie a knot in it. <laughs> a tight knot. <laughs> hey, this is a challenge. All right. Well, I, like I said, I, I, I thought my kit was going to be a little smoother than his. So, we will see. I, I, this is like, man, this is like what I camped out in a couple of weekends ago. <laughs> now, I will say that the tarp that he's using, I did sleep under that on a on a uh, trash bag mattress it is possible all right guys well that is our five c's challenge and we'll get these videos recorded and get them back up to you so we're we're giving ourselves a little bit of time that way we can also kind of if it's a i mean we're gonna obviously you're not gonna pick a day that it's supposed to be pouring down rain to go and do this but if it rains and so be it but we're giving ourselves some time for holiday stuff and then also uh also just so that we can kind of pick the day that works best for us so it's yeah, be fun and, it, and and if it just happens to be a day where we can both come up here and camp maybe we can film it that way it's just with the holidays coming up we got to see how everything's going at least he gave me a knife i was worried he wasn't <laughs> going to give me a knife well I, I was worried i was going to get like a piece of glass or a rock or like a glass bottle that I have to break or something. So I'm really glad I got a knife. But thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, we'll get this put up, and uh, we'll we'll see what happens. It's gonna be interesting. So y'all have a good one. Get outside, enjoy the woods. See you guys.